All right, finally moving on to the next step in this grow, and that is choosing a plant from either side, which one being under the Max Bloom, one being under the High Bay LED. And I have already moved these plants out of the way here to kind of show you which one I've chosen, so that's why they're kind of falling over like this. Uh, tomato plants are pretty flexible, uh, especially when they're young. So I just kind of moved them down and that's kind of how they're sitting for now. They will actually eventually come back up on their own after a certain period of time. Um, they're very responsive to light. So anyways, I'll just this video is going to be relatively short. I'm going to just talk about uh, which plants I've chosen here. Now the ones under the white LED side, um, they're pretty much all taller than the ones on the under the Max Bloom. Uh, that's just natural. I've talked about this in the other videos. It's just because uh, the Max Bloom has an excess of blue light that suppresses vertical growth, and that's only natural that these are going to be a little bit shorter. Um, so no matter what you do, this side's always going to be shorter. However, I did choose uh, a plant that looked similar on both sides because, like this one here, and it's actually amazing how quickly these are growing in the hydroponics here. Um, not surprising, I mean, to me, I've, I've done it before, but this plant here is well on its way. Uh, real thick stem, there's a lot of uh, foliage growing. Same thing with the one back here, it's just a little bit smaller. Um, and then you got this one here in the middle that has a little bit thinner of a stem, and there's only a couple little branches out here, and then you got the top growth right here. Uh, bring it in a little bit closer so you can see that. And while that is just slightly taller than the one I've chosen on, under the Max Bloom, it is very similar in its structure. And I've also taken the advice from Hidden Harvest Grow Lights. Thank you for letting me know to do this. And that is basically just turning on a white light under the Max Bloom so you can see it better. Um, this is the plant I've chosen right here. The stem is almost identical in thickness has basically the same amount of uh, leaf growth here. I'll bring you over and show you the other side again compared to this. Just take a look at that. We got uh, a little leaf sticking out here with the, you know three branching leaves, three branching leaves, and you got the center growth, and you got this, um, I can't remember if that's actually called a leader or, or what, but that's actually very similar to the other one. Same thing over here, we got another set of small leaves Back over the one I've chosen, same thing. Set of small leaves, branch out with three leaves, branch out with three leaves, and then we got the center growth, and then this little leader sticking out over on the other side right here. Same, almost the exact same plant. It's almost a mirror image of it. Um, the angle of it's kind of throwing it off, but it's almost a mirror image of it exactly. Uh, other than the fact that one is just a little bit taller, and the stem is it's not, I wouldn't say it's exactly the same size, but it's very, very hard to tell the difference. So those are the ones I've chosen, and we're going to cut out the other ones. And this is the part where if plants had a conscious way to express their emotions, I don't think they'd be very happy. So let's go ahead and trim these other ones out. that one and that one to throw it off to the side and then we'll trim out these and by the way if you're just joining here this is um, this is by popular demand as a matter of fact in the last episode I asked everyone's opinion on what I should do and everyone agreed with what I wanted to do in fact a hundred percent of everyone who commented agreed that I should choose plants of equal size and proportion. So there it is. Go ahead and see if I can straighten this out a little for you here so you can see it a little bit better maybe to compare it. It's really hard to tell on camera with the way the plants are kind of angled, but there's that one. And then there's that one. Like I said, just it's just a little bit taller. Not by a whole lot, but the structure is almost identical so uh, in the next episode we're going to be probably changing out the solution for the hydro uh, going to be using a uh, 
probably the uh, well you know what I'm not sure I'll save it for the next episode I'll let you guys know but anyways uh, that's it for episode 8 hope to see you in episode 9 thanks for watching